right, I'm up to um, Virgo now. Let's find out what's happening with Virgo. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to this channel by spirit. Um, let's find out what's happening with you guys, Virgo. What's this one? Oh, we have the scorpion. Someone's emotionally triggered. Why are they emotionally triggered? Sorry. Who's emotionally triggered spirit? What's going on? Let's clarify this energy. <laughs> and the next message, please. Okay, we've got a masculine energy who's emotionally triggered. <laughs> and he wants to chase after a feminine energy. So when you're in the energy of the scorpion, this is the alchemical symbol for fire. This is all about emotional triggers, this energy. So I feel like we've got a divine masculine energy who's feeling emotionally triggered. And it's because he didn't chase after a feminine energy. And he's feeling triggered because he wants to step into his masculine energy and chase her. So I actually feel like he's feeling really triggered because he didn't chase after you. He didn't He didn't have courage. He wasn't brave. He wasn't strong. He wasn't courageous and he wasn't bold. So I feel like it's triggering him that this could be a missed opportunity and he never chased you. He never persisted. Um in trying to get you so i feel like he's feeling like a little bit of a coward maybe like a little bit um disappointed in himself and he's triggered because it's like he gave up without trying so he never really chased you and i feel like with the um sages energy this is divine master who's going, going through a spiritual awakening so this is the blind man who sees the error of his ways and as you can see we've got the sage here so the sage is a masculine energy is starting to open his crown chakra so i feel like this masculine might have been operating in ego in pride before so when we're in our ego we have a block crown chakra and this is the, sh the crown chakra here it's our connection to source to the divine to spirit and it's blocked by ego and it's blocked by pride so when we're making decisions from a place of ego we're ignoring our intuition we're not listening to the guidance we're not listening to our gut feeling we're not connecting with spirit the universe or our intuition and we've got a blocked crown chakra so I feel this masculine's crown chakra is awakening and he's activating and he's connecting with his intuition. He's connecting with God. He's connecting with spirit. So, um, yeah, ego means edging God out. So when you make decisions with ego, you're edging out the divine, you're edging out spirit, you're edging out God. So you've got a divine masculine who's triggered because I think he was previously operating in ego, in pride, and he held back from stepping into his masculine energy and chasing after you if you're the feminine and cross-watching the situation and that's triggering him so he's triggered by his ego-based mistakes or decisions and he's going through a spiritual awakening so that's the first message here let's find out um who he's connected to oh man these cards are annoying me i'm just gonna see what comes out because i can't be bothered okay so i feel like He's ashamed and embarrassed. So I feel like it might be an extension of the Taurus reading. So that's that's the masculine's energy. He's triggered because he's ashamed and he's embarrassed. And he's connected to a feminine energy who's coming up with the spirit animal of the cobra. So she's very um, unimpressed by the masculine. Let's clarify this. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so you got a divine feminine energy who's coming up as a spirit animal of the cobra because she's quite unimpressed. There's a lot of resentment coming up here. She's quite angry. She's quite frustrated at the masculine energy because she feels like, you know, you guys should have taken your connection to the next level. You know, this is a connection that could have gone the distance, you know. 
And she's disappointed that the masculine didn't ask her on a second, third or fourth date. He didn't want to take the relationship to the next level because he was stuck in his ego and pride. So the feminine is not very impressed with the masculine for making ego based decisions, not following his heart, you know, not um, choosing love instead of fear. So I feel like there's a very unimpressed. I mean, this is this is her energy. So she's very unimpressed masculine. She's defensive. <laughs> And she's got her, her neck up, her back up towards you. And she's quite annoyed, quite angry that you didn't chase her and ask her on another date. You didn't, um, you know, take the connection to the next level. You didn't pursue her. And I feel like she feels like you were in your ego. Now, this is like very much earth energy. So I feel like she feels like the masculine made ego-based decisions and he lost her or he made a mistake. So that's the situation, Virgo. Let's find out what the connective energy is between you guys. And we have here the lion. So I feel like you guys are both very brave and courageous people. You're both very strong. So it's a very strong connection. Let's clarify this between you two. Um... And I feel like you both have the X factor. So you're both two people that are very special, very gifted. The, the zebra is all about having the X factor and having gifts and spiritual abilities. So you're both strong. So I'm getting like power couple vibes. Let's clarify this. And what else? Mm. And I feel like you've both learnt your lesson and you want to move on from this cycle. So... I feel like it's a power couple and I feel like you're both very gifted and I feel like you're both very strong, courageous and bold and I feel like you want to close out the cycle and move on. So I feel like you've been learning lessons together and I feel like you've learned your lesson from this, this dynamic or situation. So what lesson have you both learned? You both just need to communicate. Like there needs to be more communication. So I feel like um, the lesson here is to talk things out. You know, when the masculine was triggered, he should have just come to the, the feminine and communicated with her and talked. So the lesson here was instead of making ego based decisions, masculine, you should communicate, you should talk, you know, and that's how you resolve things. That's how you work things out. So you both learned that you just need to have better communication in your connection. That is one of the lessons. And you both want to move ahead and possibly communicate, possibly resolve things and possibly talk. So what action does the raccoon and Scorpio want to take towards a cobra? Okay. I feel like this muscle wants to go against the grain. So I feel like he wants to chase after you now. I feel like he knows you're innocent and pure and that this is a true love connection. So I feel like, you know, <laughs> if he was thinking in his logical brain, he'd be thinking, I've lost her. You know, I've got no chance of getting her back. I'll just let this go. But I feel like he wants to fight for your love. And so he wants to go against the grain. He wants to chase after you and ignore his logic and his fear and try and get you back. So I feel like this mouse wants to follow his heart and he's going against the grain because I feel like there might be people around him going, nah, you've missed the boat. You've lost your opportunity. You're going to get rejected. And so because he's going against that advice, it means he's like going against the grain. He's swimming upstream. So this mouse believes in this connection. He believes he should fight for your love. And there is a beautiful, true love connection between you both here. So what is the action that the Cobra wants to take? Shit. Hold on a sec. I just fell down to the floor. Oh, so I feel like the feminine is coming up with a cosmic egg. She doesn't want to let the masculine go. I think that's why she's so resentful. Like she didn't want to have to move on. She didn't want to have to, um, 
yeah, get over this connection. She wanted it to go the distance. She wanted it to go to the next level. So the action she wanted to take was to like nourish the connection, nurture the connection. I get like a nurturing energy. So she might've wanted to snuggle with this mas masculine, watch a movie, um, cuddle in bed. It's a very much like a spooning energy that I, I get that's coming through. So I feel like she didn't want to let him go. And I feel like with the cosmic egg energy that's coming through, she wanted to um, protect, I'm getting like incubation and protect this connection. So it's like a connection that you know, was still in the early stages. It needed to incubate. It needed to be protected before it hatched open. So I feel like she wanted, she wants to, you know, protect the connection, put it in that incubation and um, allow it to evolve and grow and give it like n n nourishment. So basically the masculine really, really pissed her off when he decided to make a decision with his ego because she um, wasn't involved in that, in that decision. So what is the strongest thing the raccoon would like the cobra to know? Alchemist. So the masculine wants to alchemize the situation, get her back and turn things around. So he is going to chase after you. He is going to come and get you back. He is going to get out of his ego. But I feel like the feminine energy is a bit of a rebel and a free spirit. And she's broken free from the connection. So what is this sage's energy? What is this masculine awakening to? Okay, the fact that he should have committed to you. We have the unity card, which is the card of marriage, commitment, loyalty. It's the two becoming one. So this masculine is recognizing that he's been divinely guided to commit to you, to marry you possibly. It's an element of unity. The two becoming one energy is all about unity, commitment, loyalty. So the divine masculine has recognized this as a divine union, a divine connection. And he should have taken this connection to the next level and committed to you. Major his girlfriend, major his wife. That's the vibe. Why does he feel like he should have committed to you? Because you were very receptive to him. And you were really open to connecting with him. If he showed you commitment he also thinks you're really beautiful and he should have chased after you so i feel like this is a masculine who ignored his intuition and he's really triggered that he didn't chase you because you're very beautiful and you were kind of open to the commitment you were waiting for him to commit to you so i feel like it's a feminine energy that's really resentful or annoyed at a masculine who didn't commit to her didn't take the relationship to the next level and with his ego like what decision did the masculine make out of ego so i feel like he chose to eat like with the snake's energy be deceptive about his feelings because he had too much ego to get rejected it's like an energy of like I'm going to lie about my feelings because I'm too scared to admit my feelings. So I feel like he was um, in the snake's energy because it was easy for him to hide his feelings, deceive people about his feelings rather than face, you know, rejection. And I feel like he has romantic feelings for the feminine. So we've got Tart on the Poet. This is the Romeo of the deck. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou Romeo is the energy. So we have a Romeo and Juliet connection here so romeo is longing for his juliet and he's hiding this and he has a pattern to hide his feelings so why did this masculine hide his feelings out of ego we have the elephant <laughs> because he had to learn that this feminine is very intuitive and very gifted and she can see through his deception and he can't hide anything from her so i feel like he didn't know that the feminine would be on to him and that she is very clairvoyant very gifted and she put her tentacles out and she was like no nah, i know that 
you like me and I know that there's something more here. So I feel like it was a lesson for the masculine to know that he can't lie to this feminine energy, can't hide things from her. And if he wants to be with her, he's going to have to operate in integrity and close out the cycle or pattern where he hides his feelings. But we've got a Romeo here that's thinking of all the words you can put into the love letter before he sends her communication right now. So that is the situation. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. If you're resonating with this message, Virgo, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually, or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps you on YouTube a full time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care by Virgo and the guidance moving forward is don't let go of this connection you guys are just a little bit emotionally overwhelmed because you've activated each other's heart chakras so the guidance moving forward is don't let each other go just process the feelings that you're feeling and work through them and then initiate a move masculine towards this feminine when you have processed these feelings because I just feel like you're a bit emotionally overwhelmed because you've got this beautiful deep soul connection and your heart chakra has opened and it's just a lot because you're feeling a lot right now and it might just be a little bit overwhelming because it's such a deep and intense love but your guidance is not to let each other go all right I really hope this helps take care see you next time bye Virgo